Yeah, what is going on guys? Shinigami here with a video that isn't Vegeta. <laughs> I, I said I would do a Super Saiyan God the Vegeta video. But instead, Come on, fight. I'm back with Chad Han. And also just waking up playing Chad Han. So the reason I'm calling him Chad Han is because if you read the Dragon Ball Super manga for Tournament Power, he's a fucking god. Gohan is a fucking beast. I mean, he's like that in the anime too, but in the manga he's more chatty. Because, one, he's wearing his original outfit. Which, I tried, uh... Well, by original outfit, I mean like the whole purple getup. The only thing he that I couldn't get is the Piccolo shoes, because I believe he wears those in the manga. And I didn't go with Super Saiyan for this one with Unlock Potential. Because Gohan... Yeah, I believe in anime and manga. He doesn't want to use Super Saiyan anymore. He wants to use his own, uh, his own like transformation, if you will. And this combo is supposed to work, special beam cannon into Kamehameha. However, it doesn't work if um, if there's a slope or really anything in your way that is solid. And I found it funny that he was trying to uh, use a counter on my Kamehameha, but. <laughs> But he didn't because one, it was too late. Two, I had to hit the fucking floor with it. So <laughs> he wasn't countering anything. And that special beam cannon, that wouldn't. Maybe it would hit if I did it a lot sooner, but it didn't. So I don't know what I was thinking. And I also got hit by a Kamehameha earlier, and we just won't talk about that. And we also should talk about how that burst rush didn't counter, but. Whatever, I guess the game decides when and when not to, uh, you know, when to be the real Chad, because it's like, oh, you're Chad Han? No, I'm Chadverse. Dragon Ball Chadverse, too. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I chatted him right there, hit him with the old. Cool, I love it when the audio messes up. Anyways, um, I have no idea what I Oh, yeah, I think I was talking about Gohan with AirPods, because he's a Chad now, so, yeah. I want to see some uh, some comments about AirPod Gohan, the the true form of Gohan. That that is his new transformation. He gets AirPods, and he gets what people call the drip, and that just blew out people's eardrums again with his mic. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, I go from Super Chad here, waiting for this guy. Honestly, <coughs> he wasn't really that much of a challenge. And I don't know. But yeah, I included this stuff just to. Just that, just that clips. I mean, that's really why I fought this guy. I fought him like three times. I recorded the all three, but because of time, I got out the third fight. But then I hit the. <coughs> Excuse me again, God. No, I didn't hit. It. I remember here that rock was in the way. Uh, why? <laughs> Dragon Ball Chad verse two. I'm telling you, the game is the real Chad, not me, not Gohan. The damn game, fucking screws people over so many times like I should have been able to hit that I don't know what he was thinking I think he was like high or something I don't know but speaking of high the people at my job are the definition of high also that was super chad like that was chad like you can't tell me otherwise anyways these people are high and let me tell you why also this guy is high as well for coming at me with this laggy ass internet the man is playing off coconuts and leaves in Tahiti, and he's like, you know what? Uh, I have the I have the best router in the entire world. It's made of leaves, coconut, and raindrops. So I believe I should be playing fighting games. It's reasonable, right? No, it's not reasonable. Fuck out of here with that. Let me not get into a tangent on that. <clears throat> Anyways, people at my job are high. Well, and I guess in both ways as well. So, well, first story I should tell. When I was taking my lunch break. <clears throat> These guys who I used to uh, work with, they walked by and they saw me. They're like, "Hey, man, how you doing?" They're like, "Hey, guys, how's it going?" They're like, "It's going pretty well." I'm like, "Hey, so uh, I know you guys are off to lunch, Rio." And <clears throat> they're like, "Oh, we're off to go get high." I'm like, "All right, you're gonna go get high and then come back and <laughs> and work with freight." Uh, <laughs> All right, there's really nothing I can say to that. You're gonna get high and work with freight for that. <laughs> Whatever, there's nothing to say. But then the second reason people are high 
So, as I'm recording this, it is September 12th, and a Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, the 13th. So figure. So, <clears throat> since I'm an online grocery, people, or we close at 8, alright? But the majority of people get off tomorrow at 5. 45. So, me and someone else are the only two people closing tomorrow. Everybody else is getting off at 5. So, somebody please tell me, what sense does it make to have only two people close on a Friday when people get paid? Also, Friday the 13th, where we could get fucked and murdered by Jason. I hope not, Jesus. And yeah, it's, it would be super packed because you know usually a rush or the rush gets here about maybe four, five, and six. Six depends on the day, but considering it's a Friday, and we're gonna assume the rush is gonna come. So why would you let everybody else get off at five, knowing that there's gonna be a rush, and then you're also gonna complain about us? handle or how we handle the rush but there's only going to be two people like I said me and somebody else that this, that's just galaxy brain moves big brain moves Harvard graduate moves 200 IQ plays like why didn't I think of having two people close on a day that everybody gets paid why didn't I think that that's brilliant it's fucking brilliant it wouldn't be the first time Walmart's done that shit to me or one of the first times. Um, because, <clears throat> let me tell you one time. There was this manager, one of the dumbest people I've ever met, okay? So, before I think, like, one of my first days there, I had basically passed out and went to the hospital because not eating, go figure, and working with freight, also go figure. And I felt that, you know, later on, or during this day that this event happened, not the pass out event, but a different event. I was feeling like, you know, super bad, like I was gonna fall out. And then this manager, one, I was the only person working out there, that explained it. Two, um, I received like no help. And I told this person that I needed a break because I wasn't feeling good. They just kept telling me to work faster. But I said, I'm not, like this me telling you I'm not feeling good is me telling you I'm not gonna work faster and I'm taking my break. So other people have to come. This is this happened several times. They've only given me help when people have complained. And because of that, like nowadays, we have to have two people out there because of me. Because they refused to give me help until someone, a customer, had called. But back to this um, manager. She had pulled me to the side one day when I was going to do something else. She was like, is something wrong with you? Do you need vitamins or whatever? And I'm like, no, I just need to eat. Because if I don't eat, this is going to happen. Which I did eat before, but... Like, you know, working like seven hours without a break, that tends to do it to you. So I said, no, I just need to eat. And she just kept telling me, like, I needed vitamins. And I just kept looking at her like she was fucking retarded. I, uh, instead of stop saying that, Jesus. I kept looking at her like she was fucking stupid. Because she was. Why would you tell me? Oh, yeah, she also said I need to condition my body for work. Like, one, you sound fucking stupid. How am I going to condition my body to not eat? Like, do you... What? Dude, I cannot stress this enough. These Walmart people, they're clowns. Walmart managers are clowns. I've only had, like, three cool managers out of the many. All of them, the rest of them, absolute clowns. Well, maybe four. One guy's pretty cool. The rest of them, absolute clowns. I don't know how they got the job. I really don't. I really don't. Like, this makes no sense. This... Maybe the wall. No, I can't say they're the real chats, but no, I like there, there's really nothing to say. That like, how do you condition your body to not eat? <laughs> how do you condition? Someone tell me how you condition your body to not eat. <laughs> oh my god! But whatever. So, beat this guy. This was the last clip. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Shitting got me out. Always remember Chad Han. Yeah.